Well, all right, this isn't your average tea party. Look at that. Our first guest and his team trekked up Mount Everest in some of the toughest conditions to host the world's highest tea party, Marissa. That <laughs> looks cozy. <laughs> uh, we are soaring to new heights as we welcome high altitude athlete and Guinness World Record holder, Andrew Hughes. Now that's a party, Andrew. Hey, yeah, thanks you guys for having me. I wish I could have joined me on the mountain. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> hey, maybe next time, okay? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. so talk to us about this journey to hosting this tea party in all places on Mount Everest. How exactly did this come together? Yeah, so it was actually born. I was supposed to go to Dr. Everest in 2020 when the world came to stop with COVID. And so for me, during that kind of period of disconnect, and uh, I was just thinking, how can I find some kind of record where if we are able and given the opportunity to come together again, we can celebrate something. And tea is such an integral part of what we do on the mountain, um, from the tea houses during the trek in there to the time at base camp to setting out weather like you see in this video all the time, waiting for our own weather windows to climb higher on the mountain. It just felt like a natural thing. Um, so I was able to get approved and that's when the planning fund started and finding different ways to bring in different suites. And honestly, the best thing about climbing big mountains is you get to eat all the things that you want to eat. <laughs> Girl Scout cookies from uh, Troop 6000 in New York. And uh, yeah, we were just fortunate enough to get enough of a weather window uh, to actually make this whole thing come together. So were you at the top of Mount Everest right there or close to it? It looks like you're really high up. We are. So we are at 21,000, just over 21,000 feet at Camp 2, uh, I think 21,300, Everest being uh, substantially higher than that. But uh, we had to travel through the Kumbu Ice Falls, which is where everyone gets those classic shots of, uh, of the ladders and the giant crevasses we're jumping over. Um, and this was on our second rotation, so we were kind of preparing uh, for the summit push in about a week and a half time. We do multiple trips up and down the mountain, but uh, this was pretty pretty normal weather actually, sadly, during this season. It was a lot of uh, a lot of snow, a lot of winds, um, and a lot of melt actually, as you can see, like this the crevasse crossings. Oh wow, that looks that looks intense, like a don't look down type of situation. What's impressive also with this tea party, you were also able to get that tiered plate serving platter. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> it was it, in my back, it was modular. So we just got up there and I put it all together. Um, a lot of crumbled cookies, um, mm -hmm. but a lot of the things made it up there. And luckily, because we do multiple trips, I was able to kind of bring smaller um, package sizes with me up. Um, we also had a great company of Mir who donated a ton, thousands of dollars worth of these sustainable cups and thermoses that then went all to the local Sherpa uh, staff and Sherpa, uh, Sherpa guides to stay in the Kumbu Valley. So it was just important for us to do things that were about giving back and showing appreciation and gratitude, uh, especially after so many things were taken away from some people uh, in the world. And uh, it's, a, it's a small event, but it'll kind of live it all in our memories, I think, um, and be something as special as some of the summits that we get to reach. Andrew, you said something earlier that I just keep uh, thinking about in my mind here. You said while you're going up the mountain, you can eat Girl Scout cookies and all of those things that you normally want to eat. Uh, tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, my, my fiance says I can eat healthier. I don't know what she's talking about. For me, like I, I've always um, enjoyed the fact that when you go up higher in altitude, you actually lose your appetite. So many of those things that you normally want to eat and that you need to eat to feed your body actually uh, start to uh, not taste as they used to. Um, so by finding ways to kind of like find the things that you maybe crave when you really shouldn't be craving them, those are the things that you get to pack up with you. Um, because when nothing tastes good, you need to find something that at least tastes decent. Well, okay. Okay. When's the next time you're going up? I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> There's a yeah, lot of things that I'll bring the donuts, guys. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> I got to ask, what's next for you then? A tea party on Mount Everest seems like a pretty hot, high bar to, to beat. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so I was actually supposed to be going to the North Pole uh, in about two weeks, but uh, the the situation in Ukraine sadly has um, sad in itself has, has ended that season based upon geopolitical issues where the, the launching point is, but uh, that is nothing compared to what's going on over there. So I'm switching gears and uh, looking to actually head to Kenya to climb the second highest mountain there in June, uh, Mount Kenya, which only gets about 50 true summits uh, a year. Hmm. So uh, it'll... Uh, It'll be a fun adventure, but uh, I have a couple world records. Hopefully, I'm going to go for um, in about a year's time in North Chile, actually. Okay. What do you think? Uh, pizza party? Ice cream party? What kind of party <laughs> are we throwing? 
I was looking to find you and do a TikTok dance up top high, something like that. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> a million, million views, easy. Yes. On that one. That's good. While idea. holding your donuts and Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> Absolutely. Wouldn't have any other way. We'll make it happen. Well, we love this story. I think it's so cool. And we can't wait to follow to see what other cool things and records you are breaking. Andrew Hughes, good luck. Be safe. And thank you so much for joining us here on Fox Weather Watch. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. Take care. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.